Dun, dun, dun. Hello. Wait, hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Uh, uh, yep, you can hear me. Okay. Hey, guys and gals. Um, I'm here, back again, your boy Phantomworks, uh, to show you... Uh, <laughs> let me press back real quick. Okay. I'm going to show you how to update your software for both models. So... Um, as you can see, we're in, we're in Mango Studio. Oh my gosh! Da, da, da. This is the first one I got. So yeah, I got the Mango Studio with the stuff and the things and making faces and bodies and saying, Hi, what's up? My name's Bob. Anyways, um, so Mango Studio uh, 5. So I'm going to show you how to update your software. Um, I guess a couple of different ways that come to mind uh, the way you can do it. But, uh, yeah. So, let's just get started, because it's already been a minute. Holy crap. So, uh, we're going to go to uh, help. And uh, what you can do, you can uh, go to check for updates. And it's going to bring you to this screen over here, which is this screen over here. So, we can get one, rid of one of them. Um, you can look at whichever one you have um, previous. So, if you had this one previous... You had Clip Studio Pro Paint, Manga, uh, blah, 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 blah. You have this, this thing, or the Pro Clip Studio Pro, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, previously, click here. And what you can do, this is one way. Uh, it says, or just, uh, free updates for da 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 for Pro, da 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 So, uh, it's saying you can give you free updates for that. Um, so you put in your serial number. If you... I know, I didn't go through that one that well. <laughs> Don't worry, there's more. No, but wait, there's more! Anyways, um, so another thing you could do, um, if you're trying to switch yourself to, uh, this is basically the bulk of the video, uh, if you're trying to switch yourself to, uh, Clip Studio Pro X, uh, EX, uh, with, uh, Manga Studio Pro uh, updates and stuff like that, uh, you put in your serial number, and then uh, it'll verify on its website, whatever, um, that that's your thing. Uh, and then the download will be like, hey, you're who you say you are after you put your serial number in there. And then the download should show up here. And then you put it in the, uh, into the type of file that you would like, uh, that you would remember it's from. And uh, once it's inside that file, all you uh, have to do Good golly gosh, all you have to do is uh, uh, material install. So whenever you uh, do the material install, I don't know what's going to pop up. Hold on one second. Yep, I thought so. So and <clears throat> so that is the button that you press. Uh, and then it's going to say like material install. Oh, look, it's coming. Yay. Um, then it's going to say material install or something like that. And then you just go to the file that you had it on. Uh, and then you can install the material. I don't remember where I installed mine, so if I just go searching inside my uh, <laughs> inside of my files, you're gonna see some really raunchy pictures because I draw interesting animations. Cough, 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 cough. Um, so nothing like like nasty, gory, yuck, but you know that type of like movies and stuff like that. So that's pretty fun. Um, organized materials. Uh, so this is the same thing uh, for Clip Studio Pro. This is the same thing. So uh, you could still go to the help button and oh my good golly gosh, it's not here. Ah, you don't really need it. So for Clip Studio Pro, you don't really need to go to this site to be able to do that and stuff like that. So you can really just exit out of here. Um, you can uh, for Clip Studio Pro, you can actually go to the website. So type in. Clip Studio Pro, do do do, give you some time to do that, and then you go down here. It's gonna say www.clipstudiopro.net/en. So that's gonna be for our country, because there's different ones that are several for the actual Japan and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, uh, guys, you know how it says like Clip Studio Pro on sale for $25. Um, you guys should, if you haven't gotten upgraded to the EX yet, you should wait around maybe January, February, March, April, maybe like in two or three months, because usually, especially, uh, you should sign up for the email, usually they have a sale on EX, 
um, for like $65, and uh, the particular person that I'm doing this video for accidentally, well not accidentally, but spent a uh, considerable more amount uh, for it. So you can really, uh, if you, if you, I mean, if you gotta buy it, you gotta buy it, but if you're uh, kind of saving on money or anything like that, I think in about a month or two, they always have a promotion, like sometime in the year, for you'd be able to get XE, EX, for like $65. So, anyways, enough about that. So you click on that button, actually, let's just go step by step. So you click on that button, and up here at the top, see a couple of functions but for some reason the other function isn't showing up because I'm squeezed over here all right there we go you see uh, all these awesome functions and if you don't know English you can click whatever thing you want and it'll take it to the other side anyways blah, blah, blah. so then you can click on downloads um, whenever you click on downloads you can either look at uh, download for Windows download for uh, Max OX whatever who has that anyways um, and there's several different things you could do. What you can do is you can either, uh, really you could just click this, you remember where you put your file, um, and then, uh, you know, do the same thing I was saying before. You remember where you put your file, you click install material, and then uh, you should be able to install it and put it up. Um, there is a readme in two different spots. There is this readme. For users updating from the previous, so the previous would just be the Clip Studio Pro versus the Clip Studio EX that you're trying to upgrade to. So this is just, uh, it's telling you updates and stuff like that of what they're doing uh, previously, um, but it's all going to say the same, it's, it's essentially going to say the same thing that I'm saying up here, like click on the install material, but there is actually a little spot right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's light blue, but if you click how to update right here, so I'm just going to open that in another tab, doop, you'll see this nice little readme here. So, uh, and if you want the URL, uh, I'll put this on uh, under the video too, just in case you guys want to see that. But uh, for Windows, so you, uh, you click by downloading the download button. You save it where you would like to see it, where you can easily find it, like I was saying before. Um, then you double click it, uh, then you do the new setup uh, EX, and then you can you follow the install screen, and it installs it into your system. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need to install the, uh, the materials after that, but if they've changed it to where they actually have it all set up itself after you click on that button, then that's awesome. Like, Boom, you, you got some of that work out of the way. Um, so those are a couple of ways you can update it, and you'll be able to have the one that you're looking for, the Clip Studio XC, so you're not losing all that money. Um, but yeah, that that is how you update your, your uh, Clip Studio Pro, which is awesome. So again, uh, to kind of make a long story short, and I'll, I guess I'll put a timestamp somewhere here so you guys can see this exact point. Um, just go to the website, do, 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 do. You go to the website, you click downloads on the top right, kind of mid section here. You don't scroll down very much before you go to, uh, there's release note, how to install and uninstall, then there's how to update, you click on that bad boy, <clears throat> and uh, if you don't, if you don't right click and put it into another tab like I always do. Um, then it has a little readme right here, and you can, you know, shrink it, make it smaller, make it bigger, whatever is more convenient for you, and it shows you just how to, uh, how to do so. So, yeah. Um, hmm. But, I guess, uh, I guess I should go over this, too, because, yeah, this is literally telling, saying the same thing that I was saying before, so, after you download this, and then you have it, uh, all set up on your thing. I guess you could do what it's saying right here. So for details on installation and license uh, license registration for the after the installation, see installation guide. Um, I don't really see installation guide here, and I haven't really. So we're just gonna kind of do it together here. I'm well. I'm pretty sure I've seen it because I was having trouble with this too. But uh, yeah, let's see exactly what it says. Installation, da, 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 da. so this is the one right here, 
and it's probably showing a little pop down manual. Ooh, my thing is in the way. Yeah, it is. Uh, anyways. Is this doing what I would like it to do? Because that would be awesome if it did. Okay. Installation of application. So, cool, you did your installing for that. You set up the program. Cool, screenshots. So, this seems familiar. Uh, this is probably how I figured out how to do so too as well, uh, to do the installation. Uh, you do the start installation. I guess this is just, uh, it's telling you everything that you could kind of uh, see as you're going through it. Installation completes. All right. So Clip Studio cannot immediately be installed after it is complete. You also need to register license and install the material. So just like I was saying before, um, of course by now your license is registered already. So all you have to do is when it's saying uh, install the materials before using Clip Studio Paint, uh, go to right here. Do 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 right here. Install material. You find exactly where you put that file. So somewhere around right here is where you're going to know exactly where it is. So like you see right here, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Uh, zoom in, do it. Hold on, wait. I got you guys. Let me use my mouse. My keyboard just isn't how it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, so right here, you see, uh, you can put it on something as simple as this. C program files, um, and then Celestius, that's the company uh, of the you know, drawing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then after you do that, ah! after you do that, um, you know exactly where your program is. So go in there, you click install uh, material, you go to that file, install that material. It's probably going to close itself out and then restart, and then you should have the. Uh, uh, X -E -E -X for, uh, version um, that you got your brand new license to versus the uh, pro version that you have. So you'll be able to have maximum amount of animations and uh, you should see a screen like this, different kind of types of windows and stuff. Uh, as much room as you want for this. Do -do 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 -do. So stuff like that. Almost deleted this. That would have sucked balls. Anyways, oh wait, did I? Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's still going. Okay. Anyways, thanks guys and gals for watching uh, this tutorial. I hope it was useful. If it wasn't, or if there's something I went through a little bit too fast, let me know and I will uh, address it and let you guys kind of... Uh, Get a better opportunity on it. Oh my gosh, this is 13 minutes.